So let's show this air quality monitoring system. Great. We got it through this company called Dylos. Right. So this is a, an air quality monitor which monitors particulates in the air. It has two different readings in it. It has one reading that reads uh, the small particles, which is the site over here, and it reads large particles. So it'll read dust particles, it'll read mold and, and mildew, it'll read smoke particles. So you can see in this, the quality in the air in this room right now is, is pretty good. We're, we're running around 1,900 uh, um, particulates, 800, and 1,500 or 150 large. But let me, uh, let me create some smoke and show you how sensitive this, this particular device is. So you can see right now, it jumped immediately up to 30,000. So what happens when you do a, do, um, an apart walk into an apartment in which someone's been smoking is you'll see, you'll see as you approach the apartment in the hallways mm -hmm. or in the vestibule of the house, you, you'll be able to see the particulate count start to go up because the smoke leaks out of apartments. People, right. Smokers don't, under, don't understand this usually because it's, it's so, uh, it's so, they're so used to it. But, but um, this thing, this thing will pick up the particles before you even open the door, and when you open the door, this, this, it spikes really high. So it's very useful. We use it for, for monitoring apartments on an annual basis, so we have baselines. Mm. And so when we go down a hall and we test seven apartments in a row and they're all reading 1,000, all of a sudden the last apartment reads 22,000, we know there may be an issue, and we, we'll, yeah. we'll address it at that point. Um, you know, have that same discussion we would have if someone had actually reported it. We'll, we'll ask them to, 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 to make some modifications. And, and for them just to see the visual. And for them to see it, it really strikes home. So it's, it's a really nice tool. Well, yeah. yeah, and so this is something that uh, all the prevention coalitions offer to landlords, and it's always available. So we hope that other landlords take advantage of it. And you actually purchased your own. We did, yep. Because yep. you've been using it so much. So uh, yeah. it's, it's, yeah, it's a, a great wonderful tool. device. Great tool. Great. Thank well, you. Well, thank you so much. You're this welcome. has been wonderful. And okay, uh, I, I love working with you, and I hope that we get more landlords to work with us and all oh. the other prevention coalitions because we really want to help uh, with your efforts. If you're a resident of an apartment that is not smoke-free, ask your landlord about making the change. Greater Falls Connections, Brattleboro Area Prevention Coalition, and Springfield Prevention Coalition have free resources for tenants and landlords that will walk you through the process of going smoke-free.